Hi and welcome. Today I have a special guest in this video. It's my friend and creative Brandon or Josh or Brandon Josh. What's up? <laughs> so, so last year we met at a convention and we figured we wanted to do a project together. So what have we done and who are you? What are you doing? What are you passionate about? So, I mean, I mentioned my name already. I'm Brandon Josh. <laughs> I make clothing. I started last year. We met at Hype HypeCon. It was like a convention for streetwear, for like trading, selling and buying sneakers. And yeah, we just talked and then we thought to ourselves like, yeah, we should like mix our, both of our like passions and like make something cool. So yeah, we made a pair of shoes, which you don't find anywhere else except here. <laughs> and we made a canvas matching the shoes. So yeah. <laughs> that was Definitely a very interesting project and we both learned a lot. There is a lot of heart and soul into these projects and we're going to show you the behind the scenes, the making of, and we hope you're going to enjoy this video. See ya. <laughs> so before we started with this project, we had a couple of meetings before. We were brainstorming about what we wanted to create and we decided to go for an earthy theme, work a lot with brown tones and also make it a double sole like we bought um, our regular shoe size in my case 38 and then a larger size in my case 40. then we cut the upper part from the 40 so we just had the sole and from the regular size we cut a diagonal so we could fit the regular size on the other sole, on the larger sole. And that was definitely one of the most time consuming and difficult parts because this material is very hard to cut. And also beforehand, I didn't really think that we would actually do it. I was so, so, so scared to like, you can't cut shoes apart. Like this was something that wouldn't go into my brain. But Brandon is more like outgoing and more experimental. And I was like, yeah, let's do this, let's do this. And I was like, oh my gosh, you can't cut these shoes. So that was definitely a very interesting part. And um, it taught me that working with other creatives, which are like-minded, but different in their working style, it helps me to get out of my comfort zones and think larger and Therefore, I can highly recommend to work with different creatives to always be learning and also at the same time always be teaching. Afterwards, we used acetone to remove the protective layer that's on the shoes. That's a very important step because that way the paint actually holds onto the shoe and lasts long. And we want that, so we have to do that. We moved on to our fabric paint. We wanted to have like the whole shoe um, covered in paint. So we dived all of our shoes in this large, large pots and mixed hot water with two different colors of paint actually. And finding this size of a heat resistant pot was also a challenge. We actually went to a construction store into the grill and garden department to find something like that. Then we were cooking the shoes, flipping the shoes, adding more hot water, adding more paint. Very, very interesting procedure. As soon as the shoes dried, we brought them to the shoemaker so that he would glue the sole on our regular size shoe in a professional way where it's like even and you can walk in there. We actually wanted to do it um, ourselves first, but we figured maybe it's better if we gave it to him. And he was also very interested in our project. He said he never seen something like this before. 
And yeah, in the meanwhile, we were working on our canvas, figured out how we wanted to have the pattern laid down with the fabric and Brandon sewed the piece together. So thank you for that. So that's the result of the shoemaker's work and we are very happy that we left that up to him. It's very precisely, very professionally done. And now we're actually in our final stage with spraying on the shoes and finishing up our canvas. So that was the making of. We hope you enjoyed this video. We definitely had a lot of fun creating it. The canvas, the shoes, the video. Make sure to like, comment and subscribe. Leave some feedback down below. And don't forget to check out Brian's channels and accounts too. And see you in the next video. Peace. Got my manners.